Indian Ministry of Defence has signed a 2,269 crore rupees contract with Bharat Electronics Limited for the procurement of 11 Shakti electronic warfare systems for Indian Navy warships. Kalyani Steel Limited is set to establish a 26,000 crore rupees titanium metal and aerospace components manufacturing plant in Odisha. A Hawk trainer aircraft of the Indian Air Force crashed during a training sortie in West Bengal, and both the pilots ejected safely. India's largest naval shipbuilder Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has announced that it now has capacity to build 11 warships and 10 submarines concurrently. French Navy's Atlantique du Maritime Patrol aircraft and French Air Force's Airbus A400M transport aircraft have arrived at INS Dega to increase interoperability with Indian forces. Prime Minister Modi will inaugurate the strategic cell tunnel in the next few weeks. The delivery of 118 Arjun Mark 1A tanks to the Indian Army is likely to be delayed, as Germany has conveyed that the MTU 838 are no longer in production, and restarting production would take four years, as the supply chain has shifted towards newer engine variants. MTU is now exploring the procurement of engines from the used market, that will address the engine shortage, while the DRDO is now modifying the DRDO developed Datron 1500 horsepower engine to equip them on the Arjun Mark 1A tanks, which has been developed for the futuristic main battle tank program. Officials have confirmed that the rollout of Tejas Mark II is planned in 2024, and it will complete flight testing by 2027, which means that it will be ready for serial production by 2027. The first Tejas Mark I a aircraft will be delivered to the Indian Air Force by early next month, and four aircraft will be delivered by August 2024, but production could taper down next year as there have been some delays in deliveries of F-404 engines from the US. The project to manufacture AK-203 rifles in India has encountered significant roadblocks, mainly due to high costs associated with royalty payments, and challenges related to 100% indigenous content and technology transfer, that have rendered the project financially unsustainable. The current pricing model indicates that India could acquire three foreign-made rifles for the cost of one domestically produced AK-203, and this significant cost disparity throws the project's viability into question. The Indian Air Force has already requested Dassault Aviation to integrate the 110 km range Astra Mark 1 missile on the Rafale aircraft and is now planning to integrate the Astra Mark 1 missile on its Mirage 2000 fighter jets, as the 80 km Mica missile faces increasing obsolescence in the face of more advanced missiles in the region. Dassault Aviation has ruled out integrating the Meteor missile on the Mirage 2000, and the Mica next generation will also be limited to the Rafale aircraft, leaving the Mirage with a potential capability gap. India is all set to finalize a deal for 31 Sea Guardian and Sky Guardian armed drones with the US, but knowing its vulnerability in hostile environments, the Indian Air Force has endorsed the proposal by HAL and New Space Research and Technologies, to develop an indigenous jet-powered stealthy UAV under the CATS program. It will be powered by 25 kN HDFE-25 engine and will have a maximum takeoff weight of 8 tons, with potential payloads including precision-guided weapons, anti-radiation missiles, loitering munitions and electronic warfare systems. Today's Top 3 Comments Thank you.